who has heard me, the Lord has heard Jesus concerning you tonight. And I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand here, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, say it now. Lazarus, come forth. You will come forth. The power of God will walk in your life in Jesus' name. It was the uh, latter part of October. This uh, daughter brought her mother, hands paralyzed, feet paralyzed, and they carried her literally to the crusade in the evening. And then, as we were praying, we closed our eyes. And that daughter closed our eyes. And remember, the mother was just there, uh, almost lifeless. Hands could not do anything. Legs could not do anything. And they had to be carrying her to go to the toilet. They had to be carrying. Everywhere she went, they had to carry her. And this time, I told them, when you hear the final amen, it's going to happen. And I'm telling you tonight, as you hear the final amen, you are delivered. And you are set free. And then we're praying. We're praying, praying in Jesus' name. And those who are blind, and those who are deaf, and those who are insane, and this and this, oh Lord, heal them. And the people said... And then we said the final amen. And the daughter opened her eyes. She couldn't find her mother. Because the mother, during the prayer, rose up. During the prayer, started walking. During the prayer, hands all right, feet all right. And then she was running about. And daughter said, Mama, Mama, where are you? And Mama was up here. As Mama was giving testimony, the daughter ran and said, That's my mother. That's my mother. Miracle miracle and it is coming upon your life tonight in jesus name take ye away the stone take ye away the stone there is no hindrance in your way tonight because everything is going to be done in jesus name m for moses i for isaiah r for ruth a for abraham c for caleb l for lazarus E for Elijah. There's going to be an Elijah in the house today. We're looking at James chapter 5. James chapter 5. I'm reading here. I'm reading here from verse 14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. And the prayer of faith shall deliver the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed any sins, they shall be forgiven him. Forgiveness for everyone tonight. Salvation for everyone tonight. Restoration for everyone tonight. Confess your faults one to another. And pray one for another that ye may be healed. The prayer, effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Availeth, not just a little, availeth, tell me, much. Elias, Elijah, was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again. We're going to pray tonight. I said, we're going to pray tonight. All those problems of three and a half years, seven years, 30 years, those problems will vanish away in Jesus' name. And the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. It's going to happen tonight. Number one, the possibilities of God's mighty power. Number two, the partakers of God's miracle power. Number three, the possession of God's mountain moving power. I possess tonight. I said, I possess tonight. Your voice is weak. I possess tonight. 
the possession of God's mountain moving power, your mountain will move. The mountain of your family will move away. The mountain in your place of work will move away. Poverty as a mountain will move away. Sorrow as a mountain will move away. Disaster as a mountain will move away. All those things who don't know where they're coming from, they always come, they always come. Uh -uh, today, we block the way for them. They will not come in Jesus' name. And look at, look at this. In a, we're looking at a Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 19. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, that unbelief will vanish away tonight. Unbelief destroys. Unbelief hinders our progress. Unbelief makes us to just keep crying and crying, regretting and then complaining. But all that will vanish away tonight. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, which mountain? I said, which mountain? This mountain. Any mountain before you tonight will speak to that mountain. Move, it will have to move. Remove hands to yonder place, and it shall remove. And it shall remove. The one who never lied said, it shall remove. The one who had faith and did not doubt, he said, it shall remove. Your mountain will move tonight. And nothing, and nothing, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. You know the problem of people, they hear a message like this after hearing the message. Instead of going back home and underlining all the words they've heard, all the verses who have read, and then saying it over and over and over again, nothing shall be impossible unto me. When I pray, nothing shall be impossible unto me. Whatever I desire, nothing shall be impossible unto me. And whatever I stand against, nothing shall be impossible unto me. Instead of saying that, they go back to the old song. It's not an easy road. We're walking to heaven. The problems are so many. And we pilgrims on the way, I pray I will not die by the way. I thought we settled that already here on Thursday. It is settled already. Change your prayer and change your outlook and change your confession. From now on, nothing shall be impossible unto me. I said nothing shall be impossible unto me. You have what you say. I said you will have what you say. Matthew chapter 21. Matthew chapter 21. I will read him from verse 20. Matthew chapter 21. Read him from verse 20. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily, I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, that's all it requires. If ye have faith and doubt not, I will not doubt. How can you doubt? I will not doubt my God. I will not doubt Jesus my Savior. I will not doubt the Lord my Redeemer. I will not doubt my Healer. I will not doubt the Word of God. Say it. I will not doubt the Word of God. If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also, but also, if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. Tell me. It shall be done. Tonight, it must be done. It shall be done. And all things whatsoever, ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive all things, all things, all things. Ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. Mark chapter 9. Mark chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 23. 
Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, how many things are possible? All things are possible to him that believeth. Lord, I believe. Mark chapter 11. In Mark chapter 11, reading from verse 22. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. And Jesus answering says unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Say something good tonight, you will have it. Say something positive tonight, you will have it. You wake up in the morning, say something good, something positive, something mighty, something miraculous. You will have it the rest of the day in Jesus' name. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And ye shall have them. Luke, Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17, reading from verse 6. In Luke chapter 17, reading from verse 6, And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say to this psychoman tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. It should obey you. When you tell evil spirit to move out tonight, it will obey you. Sickness to vanish away tonight, it will obey you. Mountains will move away in your life. Uh, they, they brought somebody to one of these crusades, and when she came to give testimony, she said, for the past four years, I've been uh, on the bed. Uh, if I wanted to, you know, pass urine, I do it there. If I wanted to pass uh, pieces, I do it there. If I want to eat, I do For four years, I've been bedridden just there, just there. And now, when we came out to that crusade, and it was a great time, it was a wonderful time, like it's going to be wonderful in your life tonight. And then, as we pray in the name, that only name that always works miracle, give me the name. For years, for years, but reading, she rose up. As she rose up, then she came walking. If, if she didn't say so, you will not know that anything like that had happened to her before. For the last four years, it's going to happen in your life. I said it's going to happen in your life. Mountains are going tonight. Somebody there said mountains are going tonight. Problems are vanishing away tonight. Impossibilities are going to be possible tonight. And all the yokes are going to be broken tonight. My time has come. I said my time has come. I said my time has come. Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 6. Then he said and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Oh, Zerubbabel is gone. Who is having this one today? Who is claiming this one today? This is the word of the Lord unto, unto you, saying, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts, Who art thou, O great mountain? Who art thou, O great problem? Who art thou, O great impossibility? Who art thou, O great yoke? Who art thou, O great curse? Who art thou, O great incurable disease? Who art thou, O great mountain? Before, before, 
before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain. That sin has to go tonight. That sin has to be removed tonight. It shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shoutings, crying, grace, grace unto it. Grace unto you. Mercy unto you. Deliverance unto you. Power unto you. Answered prayer unto you. Where is that mountain? It will move. Where is that problem? It has to move. Every sin has to vanish away tonight. It will happen in Jesus' name. Everything we ask tonight, everything you ask tonight, the Lord is going to do. And the Lord is going to confirm in your life, He will do it. I said He will do it. That's why it says to you tonight, ask and shall be given you. Ask and shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto, unto you. For everyone, how many people? Everyone, how many people? For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. The time has come for the doors of the mercy and the miracle of God to open to you tonight. Are you there? You must get it tonight. I said you must get it tonight. Rise up and tell the Lord, mountains are moving away. Problems are moving away. Sicknesses are moving away. When we call on the name of Jesus, all those impossibilities must become possible. Miracle tonight. Experiencing God's miracle working power. The miracle of healing. The miracle of deliverance, the miracle of breaking yokes, tonight in your life, tonight in your life, tonight in your life, miracle, salvation, restoration, strength, power, authority is coming upon your life tonight. Where Jesus is, there's miracle there. Jesus in your heart, miracle will be there. Jesus in your home, miracle will be there. Jesus coming to you tonight. And Jesus Christ in his might, in his power, in his authority, in that anointing that breaks the yoke, walking in your life tonight, as anywhere Jesus is, there must be miracle. You need salvation? Miracle of salvation available. Sanctification, miracle of sanctification available. Healing, miracle of healing available. Deliverance, miracle of deliverance available. Mention that name, miracle will follow. Pray in that name, miracle will follow. Believe in that name, miracle must follow. He'll heal your sickness. He'll deliver you from oppression. He will cancel the power of darkness from your life. Nightmares must vanish away. Something walking about in the body, all that must vanish away. Weakness. All the weakness of the body must vanish away. The hole in the heart, it will mend that hole tonight. I walk a little, I stand a little, I run a little, I'm tired, I'm weary. All the weariness and the, all the weaknesses must vanish away tonight. The dream is buried. Take away the stone. Let the dream come alive again.